start thinking All the details start sinking Good morning guys and welcome welcome to my YouTube channel Welcome to the first day of school I am now a sophomore in high school Today is Monday, August 22nd and it's my first day of school And I'm going to take you all along for it because it's like a art tradition So it's currently 6.43 and I need to leave So we have a little over an hour until I need to leave So I next thing I need to do is make my bed And usually I will turn on like a podcast or something Christian related to just fill my soul up morning I don't care about the right now I Spend the summer in this beach house because I don't have to worry about being like in a new place, in a new environment. There's only like two classes. I don't know where they are, but hopefully I can find them pretty easily. Now my favorite time is jewelry time. Okay, now I have all my little bracelets. These are not all my collection, but I've only been wearing some, some of them because like I'm tired of my wrist being full. I'm gonna wear this pure beetle one that my grandma got. This he would love first. What would Jesus do bracelet that's actually a hair tie. And then this green what would Jesus do he would love first. And this wrist I'm gonna wear this blue one. This blue hair tie. And then my favorite Jesus bracelet. It's I love Jesus he would love first. Which matches this shirt I bought. Um, he would go first. And by the way, I love this brand. Not sponsored. <laughs> Here it is. I have this green t-shirt from St. John's Bay, this skirt from Amazon, and these shoes from JCPenney's. And then I told you where my jewelry was from. So here we are. We're looking snazzy. And this is my backpack for the year. She's a beauty. I got it from Goodwill. Should we take a similar picture like we did last year? This time my home room has changed. really pretty right now because God is in me. He makes me pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast because I'm starving. <laughs> I am home for school. I my first day of sophomore year. I've been home for a couple of hours. It's like five o'clock. Got off school at 3:20, and now I'm gonna go shower because I feel kind of gross from school. Tell you about my day real quick. It was really boring, but also nice. So from 8:30 when school starts 
till at 12.10. We just sat in our homeroom going over like the procedures of the school. And then for like two hours, we just sat in there and I read my book. I got a hundred, I did like a hundred pages of my book. After lunch, we went back to our AA for a few minutes. Then we started going over our schedule just like a really quick 15 minutes each but i missed first period and second period because my grade got called to go to an assembly for just repeating the same rules then i got to third period for like five seconds sat down told the teacher my name we did guitar which seventh period is english with my fave teacher ever so it was a pretty good day and i came back and chilled i don't have any homework because we just didn't have any time to even like go through syllabuses or anything like that i'm going to shower because i feel gross hey y'all this feels like we're on a little base time call you know a little personal just me and you right now it's 10 38 i know it's been a long time i have updated you all oh no my camera's dying and my battery's downstairs <laughs> not as good as an angle but it's an angle so what has happened was after i took my shower i edited my johnny orlando album video then my dad went and got me and my mom Wendy's because Bryce was out and about today and then Molly came over and I could see her real quick because we no longer go to the same school and then I started studying for my permit test because I feel like I'm behind in all this stuff which in the end it was just the devil trying to get me and make me feel insecure and after I had my freak out I realized it doesn't really matter it's not gonna matter 10 years down the road when I start driving all that matters if I'm driving if I'm not driving really and so I was just feeling very convicted very down and so I came up here to do my quiet time I try I'm gonna try to come up here every night around 10 just read my bible and spend intentional time with God and usually I don't really I used to all the time journal my prayers but I kind of got out of that habit it just wasn't practical and I just wanted to start praying praying but every now and then when I feel the need to I will journal my prayer and that's what I did tonight because I felt like I just really needed to write it all out write what I was feeling and also when I'm writing that stuff out lots of thoughts come in my mind and it's easier for me just to think about it and pray about it and it's like journaling but it goes directly to God which is just I think I did read six last week. It doesn't really matter. A psalm is a psalm, so this is only ten verses. Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. God saves us because of his love, not of nothing we do, but of his love for us. Among the dead, no one proclaims your name. Who praises you from the grave? I love the Psalms because it's really just breaking down who God is and what God does for us and then praising him and then saying even in the midst of my trials, I will trust you, I will be yours. And some of them are short so it's like a quick little espresso shot or some of them are longer so it's like sipping on your morning coffee but it gives you that like I hope you all enjoy this video. I am hoping to have a great year and I know I will with God in me. I'll definitely be spending a lot more time with God and just truly trusting on him today and this year. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Just know Jesus loves you. Jesus wants you and he's not here to condemn you. I love you all. Jesus loves you. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great school year. And let me know in the comment when you go back to school and what grade you're in. I will see you all later. Love you. Bye.